Psalm 38 is a petition and it's a call out to God, uh, like Psalm 70 as well. Uh, the, the, these Psalms are ones where um, we're in the context of many Psalms of David, um, looking at uh, the last few Psalms that I've been uh, doing some little YouTube videos on, um, where, where David pours out his heart. But uh, this, this petition is a, is, a, is a genuine address to God saying, Lord, there's a lot of stuff going on in my heart and what's this what was this done to me it's it's made me uh in anguish and pain and it's caused a lot of uh physical problems for me as well and i just want to um offload this uh this this agony on you i want to uh pass it over to you and allow you to uh bring healing in my life and so um and it's wonderful, really, because when we look at the Psalms, we see a, a man's private journal very often. We don't see a highly polished um, presentation to God. And I just want to read a little bit of Psalm 38. In Psalm 38, verse 9, All my longings lie open before you, O Lord. My sighing is not hidden from you. My heart pounds, my strength fails me. Even the light has gone from my eyes. My friends and companions avoid me because of my wounds. My neighbours stay far away. Um, and then he, he 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 talks at the beginning about, Oh Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger or discipline me in your wrath. For your arrows have pierced me and your hand has come down upon me. Because of your wrath there is no health in my body. My bones have no soundness because of my sin. My guilt has overwhelmed me like a burden too heavy to bear. So often... People can be wrestling with stuff. Um, and one of the reasons uh, is be because of the weight of uh, guilt and maybe bitterness and hurt and unresolved uh, sin and things like that. And this causes great turmoil for us emotionally, mentally and sometimes physically as well. So I want to pray for us in those uh, areas. And just in a fairly simple way, just uh, if you're watching this, just take some time um, before God and uh, ask him to come and just show you anything that he wants to put his light on. So, Father, I just want to pray right now. Um, we recognise that uh, many of our internal processes uh, are so complicated that we may not know what's going on we might not have words to express it and we might uh like this psalmist even in the 21st century so many hundreds of years later we still struggle with internal stress uh and that causes pain sometimes it causes uh all sorts of stuff that goes on and we we often know that we need to be able to offload this stuff to you so, Father, we come to you and we, we pray for those who are, uh, are struggling right now. We, we thank you, Lord, that your word gives us this permission to uh, put all this stuff into your hands. And, Lord, we may not fully understand our hearts um, time and time again. We might not understand uh, how to deal with some of our thoughts or emotions. And we may not fully understand how these things connect up with uh, physical stuff that we've been dealing with as well. But we, we know frequently uh, these things are not disconnected. And actually you made us as a whole person. We're not just different little departments that operate uh, separately, but um, we are very much uh, uh, body, mind and soul and spirit all all parts of us they all connect up somehow and so we ask father that you'd come in and and uh as the psalmist has identified um bring relief lord we we might feel the things on the surface uh but you're interested in dealing with the inner workings of the heart and and bringing restoration 
into the inner workings of the body as well, and the emotions, and the mind, and our will, and every part of us. So Father, we, we, we just come to you, and I just pray for those who, for, for whom this, this is particularly relevant, poignant at the moment, those who might be uh, feeling considerable amounts of, of, of stress, and also might be wrestling with difficult and painful emotions and uh and areas of their life that they know they they need to sort of surrender over to god but but it's been difficult and uh and they know that they need to allow you into maybe where they've been deeply hurt by others where it doesn't feel certainly an easy task but we can't do this in our own strength i pray father holy spirit come in powerful powerful ways Lord, you can do what we cannot do. You can set us free in a way that we can't do for ourselves. Lord, it's not because we have great willpower, but it's because you have great authority. You have the power. Holy Spirit, so come and we welcome you, Lord, and encounter us afresh today uh, as the psalmist uh, sought that encounter to in this prayer and we pray father that we would uh, just know that fresh freedom that fresh wholeness that fresh liberty that that comes as you work and loosen uh, all the things that have uh, held us back all the all the stuff i i feel that you know as i've just prayed i feel that like maybe there are people who the Lord would just kind of re re release you. You might physically feel uh, a sense of, of of freedom as well, uh, a sense of, you know, things easing up. You know, God's heart is to bring physical, emotional, mental, spiritual freedom. So bless you, and I pray that that would help you today.